fight over the Affordable Care Act continues tonight. From the Congressional Budget Office today, we learned 18 million people could lose their insurance if Obamacare is repealed without a replacement. That sent some Tennesseans to the streets, and News Channel 5's Chris Conti was with them. Chris. Well, Rory, President-elect Trump still has not disclosed what a replacement plan for Obamacare would look like. This, as the likelihood that it will be repealed, continues to gain momentum. And that does not sit well with some Tennesseans. When the ACA is under attack, stand up, fight back. We are here to, to speak to our representative. A lesson in the First Amendment on the corner of West End and Murphy Road. And a lot of us are terrified. Where freedom of speech found a voice in Sidney Bennett. We're afraid that we will not have health insurance and people will die. She has reason to be concerned if the Affordable Care Act is repealed. I'm a cancer survivor and if this the ACA is ended and my husband changes jobs, I will be uninsurable. And I can't, I can't have that. I can't. It's life and death for a lot of Tennesseans. This street corner was strategic. Inside this building are the offices of Tennessee's two U.S. Senators. Only five people are, are allowed back at one time. Hi, my name is Mark Brooks. I'm a voter. This group had hoped to voice their concerns in person. I think this is a measure of exactly how important this issue is to people. Go ahead and hand me your letters now. But instead, penned letters and handed them over to staff members. As you can see, we have a lot. Now, I'm going to give these to you now. Okay. Voicing their opposition on paper to the vote both senators have made to repeal the ACA without a detailed replacement plan. I care about the people of Tennessee. I care about the people of this country. An exercise in free speech next. and a street corner lesson on peaceably assembling. What happens next? We want to know. Both those senators were not in their Nashville offices today. Instead, they are both in Washington because Congress is in session. Instead, their staff members met with those protesters and listened to their concerns. Vicki.